moment of truth has finally arrived. This is the moment you've been dreaming of. Hello, I'm the Pageant Nerd, with the first instalment in a two-part series looking at the decade that was for my favourite pageant, Miss Universe. While I'm not someone who's pedantic about the facts, it's a common misconception that a new decade begins here. You count from 1 to 10, not 0 to 9, right? The same applies to counting years. So officially, a decade has just been completed. As such, I thought it'd be fun to do a countdown of the best performing nations at Miss Universe over the past 10 years, from 2011 to 2020. While you might correctly guess which country lands in the number one spot, I think you'll be surprised at some of the other placements. Part one will take an overall look at Miss Universe's last 10 years and part two will include a complete ranking of all nations that placed over the decade. To set the scene for these rankings, here's my scoring methodology. I've awarded 10 points for a win, 8 points for a first runner-up, 7 points for second runner-up, and because we didn't have a consistent top 3 or top 5 throughout the decade, I'm awarding 5 points for any other placement in the top 5 or top six in 2016, regardless of whether a third and fourth runner-up result was announced. Then it's four points for a top 10 finish and two points for making the first cut. As I said, this is just something fun I've thrown together. By no means am I saying it carries any official bearing. What was official were the 10 incredible women who took home the crown for their countries. Before we get started, here's a look at our 10 terrific crowning moments from the past decade. One of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. Miss Universe 2011 is... Angola Lila Lopez! Which means the first runner-up is Alisa Stefanka. The new Miss Universe cannot fulfill her duties. The first runner-up is going to take over. And so Miss Universe 2013 is... Venezuela! Gabriela Isler! The first runner-up is Spain! Thank you, Monica! Congratulations to you, Miss... Colombia! Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. The new Miss Universe is South Africa! Viva Mexico! Yeah. 
And here's our gallery of title holders. Two each from the Philippines and South Africa, and a win each for Angola, the USA, Venezuela, Colombia, France, and Mexico. The pageant was hosted in five different countries, once each in Brazil, Russia, the Philippines and Thailand, and six times in the USA. In all, there were 51 nations that placed at least once at Miss Universe between 2011 and 2020, and of those, 35 placed more than once. Here are the 16 one-timers in summary. A special shout out to Kenya, Myanmar and Nepal for their first ever placements at Miss Universe, to Haiti for its first in 41 years, and to Sri Lanka for its first placement since 1955 after a 62 year wait. Now you might think that all these single placement countries are at the bottom of today's chart. Not true. Here's a look at our one hit wonders who went beyond the first cut and in one case went all the way to crowning glory. And as a sneak peek, the position above the country name is their final placement in my overall rankings. Incredible to note that of Haiti's three total placements at Miss Universe, two of them have been first runner-up finishes. Taking a look at the nations that placed twice over the decade, and none of these fared as well as Ecuador, Haiti or Angola, but here are their highlights. Meanwhile, some of the three-time places seem to have better luck. Here are the best performing nations in that group that didn't make the overall top 20. Having had a look at the top performers further down the list, it's now time for the full countdown from 51 to 1. You can check that out in part two of this series, which is ready for your viewing enjoyment. Make sure you check it out. It's super comprehensive, but fun, if I say so myself. Thanks for watching. This is the Pageant Nerd. Bye for now.